Hey, Oliver fans. So it's about 9.30 a.m. and Oliver just woke up. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we are going to try and figure out exactly how many times Oliver barks in a single day. So uh, I'm going to be filming him all day long on and off, uh, especially paying attention to times where he tends to bark more often, like meal times, and we will count the number of barks and see how many times he barks today. So, Oliver, does that sound like fun? You don't bark that much, do you? Yeah, you're not that bad. I think maybe, let me see, let me think. Uh, maybe you bark 10 times at lunch, 10 times at dinner, and then 10 times in the rest of the day. So I'm gonna guess, 30 barks. So let's see how many times Oliver actually barks today. All right. Come on, Oliver. Let's do it. You want to get started? You want to bark now? Yeah. So Oliver is definitely not going to bark right now. Look at how sleepy he is. There's no way he's going to bark. And in fact, I suspect he will not bark at all for the next several hours until we get to lunchtime. And then we'll see what happens. So it's now 9.45 and we're about to take our first walk outside our first steps outside for the day so that oliver can use the bathroom and let's go come on oliver let's go you ready i will be very surprised if oliver barks right now come on oliver you can go outside so yeah it's a little bit colder today than it's been the past couple days it's a bit of a gray day it's not always sunny in california Oliver likes to come outside cautiously, look around, see if there's any stray cats around. Uh, there's one stray cat in particular that he's been tracking over the past few days. We haven't seen him in a while, or her. Okay, Oliver, you wanna do your business? We don't usually take a very long walk in the mornings. And as I said, I'd be very surprised if Oliver barks right now. There generally aren't any other dogs out at exactly the same time as him. Okay. Uh, so as I was saying, there are generally not any other dogs out outside, outside at the same time as him when he goes out for this little walk in the morning. So there's really no reason for him to be barking. So yeah, Oliver, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, I'm wrong. There is another dog. So he's not gonna bark, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think he'll bark. See, usually when we encounter another dog, Oliver does not bark, unless he wants to communicate something. And apparently right now he doesn't feel like communicating. So as you can see, before I even managed to come upstairs, Oliver was already on the sofa and he's gonna settle down here, I think, probably. Good yawn, Oliver, for the next couple of hours for a little nap. So Oliver, we don't expect you to bark right now, but if he does bark, I will try to catch it on camera. Okay, so it's almost noon and Oliver has not yet barked today. And that's not a surprise because usually he spends most of the morning, like he's doing right now, snoozing in his favorite spot, which is his bed on the sofa. So we are gonna have lunch in maybe an hour or so, and I expect he may do some barking then. So we'll wait to see what happens. Okay, so it's about one o'clock and it's time for lunch. And Oliver still has not barked yet, but I wouldn't have expected him to because he's been sleeping. Yes, you've been sleeping, haven't you? Oh, and now he's stretching. Did you hear that weird lunch or do you just like the way I'm talking? So I think you can tell that lunch is coming because I'm speaking to him and maybe he knows the word lunch. Oh, that's a good yawn, Oliver. I would say that most days Oliver gets hungry for lunch before I do, so he will actually come and remind me that it's time for lunch. Uh, but today he's especially sleepy, so you want to just rest for a little bit longer, Oliver? Or do you want to get some lunch? 
So there's almost certainly gonna be some barking once his food is ready. So I guess I'll go into the kitchen and start getting your food ready, Oliver. And that will be your first barks of the day. Oh, Oliver, you're so adorable when you're waking up. Yes, you are. I just got to film this. This has absolutely nothing to do with barking because Oliver's not gonna bark right now, but it has everything to do with Oliver being cute. So I think it's important for me to film this too. Are you ready for lunch, Oliver? What do you think? I'll go get it ready, okay? You can stay here. Yeah, you can stay here. You can rest a little bit longer. Lick your bed. <laughs> Yawn. Okay, so Oliver has figured out that it's time for lunch. He's come over where the food is. Oh, good stretch, Oliver. Yeah. So I'm gonna get your chicken ready and your kibble. And Oliver, I know you like to bark at lunch because it's one of your favorite times of day and that's okay. You can bark a few times. I don't mind. All right. Yes, the chicken is over here in the fridge. Okay, so now that the chicken has come out of the refrigerator, the chances that Oliver's gonna bark have just increased dramatically. So let's see if I can capture Oliver's first bark of the day. I don't know how, Oliver, I'm gonna film you and get your lunch ready at the same time. I only have so many hands. Okay, so we got some, let me get some chicken ready here, Oliver. Yes, we got a few pieces of chicken here. Well, that's a little bit too much. Okay, so we've got some chicken here. I'm gonna put it into his bowl with some kibble. Well, first I'm going to uh, separate the bones up. Okay, Oliver, so I'm gonna have to turn the camera on. Oh no, I know. Oh, there you go, the first two barks of the day. I'm being a little bit too slow for him. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off because I have to prepare the food with both hands. All right, so I'll show you Oliver's eating. Oh my goodness, I'm being too slow. That's Okay, so the food is now ready. I prepared the chicken. I put it in a little bit of water and then in the microwave for 20 seconds, just to warm it up a bit. And Oliver barked a couple times while I was preparing the chicken. So we're now up to six barks total. And here we go, Oliver. There you go, there's your lunch. Well, the first course of your lunch because I give him his lunch in several smaller courses to slow him down a little bit. What do you think, Oliver? Seems to be enjoying it. Okay, so let's do another course. And he might bark again, because I'm being a little bit slow, probably. He thinks, I'm, he always thinks I'm being a little bit slow, but today, especially because I'm trying to film at the same time. All right, here we go. Here's your second course. And yeah, Oliver's always liked his lunch and dinner to be a little bit moist. Uh, we figured that out when he was a puppy because uh, he would not eat the kibble when it was completely dry. And even now he still doesn't like eating kibble if it's completely dry. If I just gave him kibble with chicken that wasn't wet, then he probably would just eat the chicken and leave the kibble behind. Okay, let's have a little bit more over. One more chicken here. He's being very patient. Oh, good job, Oliver. You haven't barked at all. All right. We have been trying to discourage him from barking too much at lunch and dinner. I mean, a few barks is okay, but we don't want him barking dozens of times. Sometimes he barks a little bit more at dinner in particular because I think he's just generally hungrier in the evening for dinner than he is for lunch. Okay, so this is pretty much it for the chicken, Oliver. We might have enough to give you one more course. So he eats his lunch pretty quickly, and then after lunch, we always play a game of sniffers, sniff and seek, where I leave treats all around the living room for him to find. Okay. So, there's a few bits of kibble that I dropped on the counter, and a little bit of chicken left in the bowl. All right, here I'll just use my hands. Let's spoon 
It's hard to pick up the last little bits with the spoon. And then the last little bits of kibble here as well. Okay, and that's the end of our lunch. Okay, so now we're gonna play our game of Sniff and Seek, which we play every day after lunch, or as part of lunch, I guess. And Oliver uh, <laughs> loves this game. So the treats are up here. And what I do is I get Oliver to sit, sit, and then sit, Oliver. And then he stays there. Well, he's supposed to stay there. He doesn't usually, he usually follows me, just like he's doing now. And I usually put one treat down here for him to find. Oh, he's going already. Oliver, you're supposed to wait for me to hide all the treats. And then I'll throw one treat up here. Well, two treats actually. And then one treat under the rug. And he found it already. And one treat under his bed. One treat behind these pillows. Let's see. I'll put a treat over here. And maybe one last treat over here. Okay, and then I say, go search. But Oliver <laughs> has been searching already, so. That command is a little bit redundant. He is extremely good at this game. He's very fast. He finds all the treats almost as fast as I can hide them. And he doesn't usually bark while he's playing this game. The only reason he would bark would be if a treat was hidden somewhere that he couldn't get it. So if a treat was up so high that he couldn't reach it, I don't usually put the treats that high though, he would bark to signal that he knew where it was and that we should get it for him. Or if a treat fell into the cushions of the sofa, which happens sometimes, then he would bark for that. So I think Oliver may have found pretty much all of them already. Oliver, did you find this one over here? Oh, he didn't find that one yet. I wonder if he's going to come over here and find it. There we go. Okay, you enjoy that game, Oliver? I think you did. So that's it for lunch. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Oliver will bark some more at dinner and he might bark in the afternoon too. Um, he gets a walk before dinner, so he might bark then. So we will keep you posted. So now I'm gonna take Oliver out for a little walk after lunch. He gets a little walk every day after lunch. It'll be just a short little walk. Uh, his longer walk is later in the afternoon and Wow, that day has brightened up quite a bit. So I'm not going to film this whole walk because I think it's unlikely that Oliver will bark, but I'll keep you posted and then we'll let you know if he does. Okay, so we're back from our walk and Oliver is back in his favorite position on the sofa. Oh, he's yawning. He's ready to settle down a little bit for his after lunch nap, his afternoon nap and we will be going out for a longer walk again later in the afternoon before dinner. So we can look forward to that. And I do not anticipate that Oliver will bark at all this afternoon. He will be sleeping for most of the afternoon. Okay, so it's about five o'clock and it's time for Oliver's late afternoon walk. So he's sitting here at his window looking out. He has been napping all afternoon on the sofa and did not bark once. So for the late afternoon walk, we go for a little drive to our local park and sometimes we see some other dogs there. So Oliver, let's go check it out. See if he can go meet some other dogs. Come on, let's go. Come on. Wanna go? Okay. We'll let him take his time. Come on. Let's go. He's got his car seat there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off the camera. Turn off the phone so I can pull up. Okay, so Oliver is now in the car and we are ready to go to the park. How's that sound, Oliver? Come on, let's go. Okay, here we are. We're at the park, Oliver. I just missed a bark. Oliver did a a bark. Yeah, he was. Woo! Oh, there's one more. Okay, Woo! that's bark nine today.
You just did three barks in a row. So Oliver is doing his, basically, I want to play bark. He's, <coughs> oh, okay, more barks. He sees the other dogs across the park. He's letting them know that he's here, that he's ready to play. Uh, sometimes when he does that bark, Oliver, I'll unleash you, okay? Sometimes when he does that bark, he's basically saying, come chase me. But right now I think he's just saying, look, I'm just, I'm just here. I, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Oliver goes and plays. <laughs> and here they come. It's Oliver's greeting party. Oh, hi. I don't think I've met you before. This is some very quiet, solemn playing going on here. No barking today, or not right now. Hi. Just lots of rolling and sniffing. Oliver, what are you doing? <laughs> Was that fun? Okay, let's go. It looks more like he just wants to play. No barks. Oliver, come on. We're not going up there. That's not a road. Oliver, that's a culvert. It's not a pathway. We're not going down. We're not going up a culvert. No, come on. Oliver, that's not a proper walk. We, we can't go there. Okay, so we've been walking for about 40 minutes. It's time to start thinking about heading back to the car so we can go home and get some dinner. How's that sound, Oliver? We're back now from our walk, and so far today, Oliver has only barked 12 times, which is less than I would have guessed. And he has some time now to make up for it tonight because he tends to be more active in the evenings than he is during the day when he's mostly sleeping. So right now, after we get home from our walk, he almost always wants to play. So we're gonna see uh, whether he's gonna bark during playtime. That's when we play, um, usually it starts on the steps. We have a little bit of a tug of war with one of his toys. And then later there will be dinner time and he loves to bark at dinner. So let's see how things go tonight. to chew. Good for licking. You're not going to bark, Oliver? You usually bark. There you go. I thought you might.
Yeah. Did you have a good walk? Now you ready to play? Okay. You're just letting me have it? Oh, you're thirsty. Yeah, you got a good run in the park. You got to get some water. Well, Oliver usually barks a little bit more than that, but we'll take it. Just one bark today at playtime. Oh, shake yourself up. No, there's no treats. No, no, you got them all already after lunch. You found them all. All right, so what do you want for dinner tonight, Oliver? Let's see what we got in the fridge. I think we've got some chicken for you. Some very nice chicken breast. I will combine this with a little bit of kibble for you. All right, I'm not sure I'm going to, get, I'm going to prepare your food while I'm holding the phone at the same time. But here is Oliver's dinner. <laughs> but usually I don't give it to you all at once, Oliver. So... Uh, I'm going to have to break that into little pieces. Oliver's actually not barking, which is great. So maybe that'll... Oh no, that's a bark. Okay. All right. I better get started. So I'm going to tear this up into little pieces with one hand while I'm holding my phone with the other. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave with a little bit of water to heat it up. Oh no, I'm going too slow, Oliver. That's much too slow. Okay, Oliver, please don't bark. I gotta do this, okay? It's not gonna take me very long. Okay, so in a little bit of water. Okay, I think a little bit of a chicken might have just fallen on the floor there. I'll read and see it. It's right under your feet. Okay, so in the microwave for 20 seconds. Oh, Oliver, come on, give me a chance. I'm doing this as fast as I can. So this is a really fair approximation of how often Oliver barks at dinner because I'm going a little bit slower than usual because I have to hold my phone with one hand. So, but Oliver's being pretty patient, aren't you Oliver? Got 20 seconds in the microwave just to heat it up a little bit, make it a little bit warmer. Okay, there we go. And can we just reuse your bowl for lunch? How do you feel about that Oliver? Here's your bowl for lunch. And we'll give you a little bit of kibble. And a little bit of chicken. Just like at lunch. Okay. There you go. Bon appetit, Oliver. Or as they say in German, guten appetit. Wow, you pulse that off pretty quickly. Okay. On to the second course. Mix it together a little bit. Here we go. That's actually roast chicken, homemade roast chicken. We roasted a chicken two nights ago. Oh, it really likes roast chicken. Okay. And I think this will probably end up being four courses, Oliver, so I'll give you this bit now, and we'll leave the rest for your final course. Okay. Oliver is really determined to eat that pretty much as quickly as he possibly can. All right, last course, Oliver. Of the chicken, and I'll give you a little bit of the water that the chicken was cooked in. Okay. All right, so we had a few barks at the beginning of dinner time when Oliver felt like I could be moving a little bit more quickly, but while he's been eating, he seems perfectly happy and he hasn't been barking, and that's pretty typical. 
So Oliver, that's it for the- <laughs> Oh, no, 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 there's no more chicken. Yeah. All right, so that was dinner with Oliver, a few more barks, and we'll see if there's more barks later in the evening. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Oliver, that's it. There is no more chicken. Okay, that's it. No, no, dinner time is over. We're gonna do a stiffy scene now. Okay. It's time now for Oliver's final walk of the day, which is right before bedtime. Oliver likes going outside when it's dark and quiet. He likes sniffing and he tries to find out where the stray cats are because they're always hiding around somewhere. And he likes to play with his rubber ball. He doesn't really play fetch, but he likes to throw it in the air and bounce it around. So we'll go do that. Oliver, is that a good smell there? Is there a cat? Is there a cat in here? A cat in here? Oliver, come over here. It's bedtime, 11.30 p.m. What do you think, Oliver? Our experiment is over, and you barked a grand total of 20 times today. So, I don't know what to think of that. It's a little bit less than I expected, actually. A little bit less than I predicted. So does that mean that Beagles or noisy dogs or not, I will leave that up to you all to decide, but I don't think 20 barks in one day is too much. And I would say that our Oliver has a beautiful bark and 20 barks is definitely not excessive for a whole day. So I'd say you're a pretty good boy. What do you think, Oliver? Maybe we'll try that again sometime. Maybe we'll bark 25 times next time. And that's it. Thanks so much for joining us on the day in the life in Oliver, 20 barks.